This is your stronger coach, Ryan Mathias from MathiasMethod.com, and this is our beginner training series where we are answering the question, what's the best way to train as a beginner? And the answer is, it depends. Are you a kid? Are you a teen? Are you an adult? Are you a man or a woman? Are you doing general fitness, strength training, powerlifting, bodybuilding? It all depends. We're going to go into more depth of each one of these right now. So what's the best way to train as teens or teenagers? And we'll count a teenager, both men and women, as those that have started puberty. As soon as they start puberty, things change. Things happen pretty quick, so it's good to get them into this form of exercise quickly. The best way to train as teens starts training like kids. They need to jump, run, and play. They need to stay motivated, and playing is one of the best ways to be motivated. Now, of course, there's a lot more to it for teens, but they do need to do body weight movements. They need to be used to moving their body as it's changing. If they let their body change, grow uh, three feet in, I mean, a couple years, then their muscles are elongated and they lose the ability and the function to do a lot of these things. So they have to continuously be moving their body through space as they're growing. That's why it's very important they start, if they haven't already, as soon as they hit puberty. They need to be doing active movements and full range of motion movements to keep your muscles elongated growing along with your bone structure. So that's, that's the important thing. I do highly recommend that they do the daily 30. I recommend everyone does the daily 30. That's just three simple body weight movements. You can read about them on MatthiasMethod.com. There's the paleo squat, working on your lower body proper movement patterns as well as some strength and uh, general mobility. The push-up, it's done a certain way, so it's not just uh, doing push-ups the way you feel like doing it, but a certain way to teach the proper movement pattern and strength for their upper body. And the prone cobra working on their posture muscles, which we know teenagers, uh, along with kids and everyone else, really needs to work on their posture muscles so we can stand upright and not be slouched over for the rest of our life having uh, later on more back issues and other issues. So uh, those three exercises just done at least once a day if not uh, multiple times for increasing benefits that, that's one of the most beneficial things they can do. Now because they're teens they're getting a lot more strength in them so uh, alongside doing things like push-ups they should also try to do some pull-ups uh, or other body weight movements, uh, squat daily, um, if they can, do some dips, if they have a place to do some dips, but you want to do things a little bit more intense than they would do as kids. Uh, kids are fairly light, but they don't have uh, a lot of muscle built up yet. When they hit puberty, they really gain a lot of strength quickly. Both men and women do. Uh, we're not just talking about uh, uh, boys here. Uh, women gain, gain a lot more strength and muscle along that time too. They just do it more gradually, whereas uh, boys, you see such the big change because they tend to jump and then level off, jump and level off over the years. But uh, both are changing quite a bit. They should train basically the same. Uh, ladies generally are be able to are able to uh, withstand a lot more work and take more less rest. And uh, boys are generally able to do more intense work. But still, they should be utilizing their body weight frequently. Get used to their body changing and mobility. Mobility is one of the most vital things at this point in their life. So they don't have those short bones that are, or I'm sorry, short muscles that are really going to affect them later on as their bone structure uh, greatly increases over time. We know how people just shoot up in, in height sometimes and then they can't uh, touch their toes anymore. You have to have your teenagers doing mobility. And not just doing general warm-up mobility, they need to actually work on their mobility. I should, flexibility if you're confused about what I mean. I just need, they don't necessarily need to roll out their muscles like soft tissue work. That's more for later on when you're already damaged. They need to do stretching and they need to stretch longer than just like those 30 second warm-ups that you do. They need to uh, put an effort in and again it needs to be fun and they need to stay motivated. They need to have fun with what they're doing. It's kind of hard to stay motivated when you're just sitting there stretching. I mean they don't see the benefits until later on but they're going to be so glad that they did it if they do their mobility as teenagers when they're still growing. So try to get them to do the mobility, try to work on the major areas as well as the small areas. Uh, be careful of the shoulder joints because there's a lot of changes going on there but uh, definitely work on the hips and hamstrings and quads, whatever you can do. Try not to have them sitting all the time. Stand up, get out and play, do a lot of uh, active things to keep their mobility and strength up. Now. There's another step to 
training as teenagers. The other step is strength training. If they want to truly get stronger as teens, they need to do some strength training beyond just push-ups and pull-ups and body weight. That definitely needs to be in there. That should be the first thing that they do, or uh, at least always maintain the ability to do that when they're training. But they should also try to incorporate some strength training with weights, added resistance. Uh, they can start by doing body weight movements with added resistance. You can do uh, pull-ups with a, a, a backpack on or just uh, a hang a weight like at the gym, hang a weight from the, the hips or same thing with push-ups, wear a weighted vest or something. Try to do some. You don't want to do too much running or jumping with a bunch of weight on. They, they just need to go through running and jumping in general. But they definitely need to have some added weight and try to get better at things like dips, weighted dips or weighted pull-ups, weighted push-ups, weighted body weight movements before they start working with actual just weighted movements like dumbbell press or bench press or squat, deadlift. Those movements are important, but it's more important that they're using their body, still maintain their mobility, and then work into if they need more intense exercise, if they need something more intense beyond body weight, then they should start utilizing weights. Now, how do you know when they really need to start moving forward is I'd say if they can do 50 push-ups in a row or just uh, 50 push-ups over the course of maybe two minutes, three minutes, not too long, then they're probably strong enough to start doing um, some weighted exercise movements uh, and then start moving into doing some actual squats, bench and deadlift, some uh, compound movements with the barbell and weights. Um, they generally probably do that if they do uh, football, but they should definitely need to make sure that their coach is having them do a lot of body weight movements and a lot of mobility work. So those two are the, the two most important at that age. If they just do strength work all the time, it's not going to be nearly as beneficial as when they do their mobility work and their body weight using their body weight throughout space. So that's the best way to train as teens, body weight with mobility, and then add some resistance if you need to. Talk to you later. Also, please make sure you go check out MatthiasMethod.com. We got tons of free programs on there that you can start doing as a teenager or adult or really anyone moving forward in their strength journey. It takes you from a level of zero, never done any exercise before, all the way through becoming an elite lifter or comp competitive lifter. So if you want any of that strength information, all the programs are free. Just go to MatthiasMethod.com, see where you stand, whether you're just starting, a beginner, or if you're intermediate, advanced, or even elite. See where you're at and find a program for you. Thanks for watching the last video, guys. Make sure you please give us a like and a share. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Matthias Method. Also, go over to Facebook, give us a like over there, and check out the new Stronger store on MatthiasMethod.com, where you can find all the information you need to grow stronger today. Talk to you next time.